Well, hello everybody and welcome to another 10 minute travel. This time I have Shauna Carter with me of Amma Waterways, one of my favorite river cruises in Europe. And we're going to talk about holiday cruises. Thank you, Shauna. Thank you, Leslie. And hi everybody. It's my great pleasure to talk to you today about our wonderful holiday cruises in Europe. This is one of my very favorite times of year to come and explore the Rhine, the Danube, and just see the magical Christmas markets. And I love coming on board our beautifully decorated ships and all our crew are waiting there to welcome you on board and make sure you have a wonderful time. It's, it's a great time to come with family, with sisters, with friends. And uh, I've done this, this journey eight times, uh, actually four times each, four on the Rhine and four on the Danube. So it is really one of the most magical times to come into Europe. And of course, there's all the wonderful culinary experiences, getting your glue vine at the Christmas markets, the hot mulled wine, having, you know, the Black Forest cake and the Stollen and having maybe some strudel and all the wonderful specialties, not only at the market, but that we also make on board the ships. And of course, our crew are just waiting to welcome you on board. You can see they're collecting their beer steins here. <laughs> but, uh, and of course, we have wonderful wine as well on board. But they really are there with their wonderful smiles to make you feel welcome. And uh, the ship is your home away from home while we, we travel through the holidays. And not just on the outside and all these beautiful places that we visit, but also on the inside. Our ships are decorated from top up to bottom and you can't help but walk by this reception area and have a smile with our beautiful big tree uh, in the center there. Even the dining rooms are all decorated and ready to welcome you in for a wonderful meal. And I love walking around the ship and just seeing all the little touches, the extra touches that they put all around on the tables and all the hallways. Even your door for your stateroom is decorated with a beautiful wreath. And you come into that forward lounge and, you know, we've got all our wonderful treats waiting for you. Everything is decorated lovely. You can't help but feel festive. So traditionally, the Christmas markets are on the Danube and the Rhine. So starting with the Danube, you have a wonderful seven night cruise where you can sail from Budapest up to Nuremberg or reverse. And you can even spend extra time over in the beautiful city of Prague. And Budapest is one of my very favorite cities, the capital of Hungary. You can see the river coming through, dividing the city in two, Buda being one side, Pest the other. And in the evening, the whole city is lit up. And uh, you can see even their cars, their rail cars are all, all decorated. So it really is a pretty time of year. And you know, there's not just, when you come into these cities and towns, there's not just one market. There could be, you know, six or seven markets all over uh, the city or all over throughout the town. And, you know, they've got their lovely artisan here, you know, showcasing their beautiful handmade gifts. And then, of course, there's all the food. So you want to make sure you bring your warm clothes. You can get a plate of Hungarian specialties mm -hmm. and uh, try out all the foods, which is really a fun part. They've got outdoor fire pits going so you can sit and, you know, I was just there, as I say, last year for the Christmas markets on the Danube and we, there was no snow and we actually had to buy some t-shirts because all we brought was warm sweaters. It was actually early December and still quite lovely. Uh, obviously you need a jacket at night when the sun goes down, you really should have your scarf and some mittens, comfortable shoes, but it is lovely. In Vienna, of course, uh, this very, oh, I saw a Hallmark movie, Vienna, Christmas in Vienna. So make sure you watch for that and you can see all these beautiful markets that I'm showing you now. And even the windows, you know, you walk around these sound, these towns and cities, pardon me, and they're so beautifully decorated. You'll see chandeliers hanging in the streets and all the stores are decorated with toys and stuffed animals. We even go up into Salzburg for the day and, you know, can you imagine seeing it with the snow? But as I say, there's not necessarily always snow here, but it's beautiful anyway. And there are Christmas markets here. 
And in the windows, you know, you see all the wonderful treats. So you go to the market, you get your Christmas mug. So these are mine from last year, 2019. And I believe this was Bratislava. Oh no, we're in Linz. The, the name's right on the, the cup. And you can collect these cups. You can return them. They're two euro. You can return them or you can take them home with you. So I love to go and get a sweet treat, get my mulled wine and then sit and just watch everybody walk around. It's such a beautiful um, you know, time of year. Now, for the Danube, before or after your cruise, depending which direction you're going, you can actually come and stay in the beautiful city of Prague. And our cruise manager will be with you as well. And so see the markets here and do our city tour and spend time in this incredible city. These, these are shots from my trip last year, so you can see how pleasant it is outside. But when everything's lit up and the sky is dark, it's really so special to walk around and maybe go find Hemingway's Bar in Prague and sit and have a, you know, a nice warm cocktail afterwards. So when we move over to the Rhine for their Christmas markets, this traditional cruise is Amsterdam to Basel, and then you can go see Lucerne and Zurich in Switzerland. You can do it in the reverse direction as well, but I especially love this particular itinerary because there's so many of these little fairy tale towns uh, that you get to come and visit like Requier or coming into Gegenbach. And it's like you've stepped into a, you know, a fairy tale movie or something. You can't believe it's real. So if you started up in Amsterdam, of course you'd spend time there and see the city of lights as that happens throughout uh, the holidays. Coming into Cologne, the beautiful cathedral in the background, and you'll go through these markets and you'll find Ferris wheels and they're like, um, you know, going on little, gondolas throughout and lots of wonderful foods and again of course the glue vine or you can try their incredible beers that they're known for in this area. Strasbourg coming into France now because the Rhine goes along the borders of Germany and France and this you know half timbered houses so pretty to walk around. So it's not really just about the markets. It's also about just walking through town and seeing the store windows and how the buildings are all decorated. And it's, it's just, as I say, it doesn't seem real. And you look in the windows and you see the old antique toys and everything is, is done up. So here's the little town of Gegenbach that I was talking about. Look how beautiful this is. You can see some of the stands there, but this is the town hall of Gegenbach. It's the world's largest advent calendar because each one of the windows opens every day during advent and, you know, brings out a beautiful picture on these stained glass windows. So that's really special. And I like coming at night because everything's lit up and it's so pretty. And then Basel in Switzerland, of course, uh, you might end or start your cruise here. And then, as I mentioned, you can also go into Lucerne and uh, this little lakeside city. You know, it's so beautiful. Uh, this is the main train station here. You know, you take the train and then bang, you're right in the middle of town. So very easy in the beautiful Swiss mountains in the background. It's gorgeous. And Zurich, uh, they have Swarovski lights all through the city as you walk through downtown and they're just strung and hanging and it looks like little twinkle lights everywhere in the sky. And their Christmas markets are unique. You can go and have fondue and sit by a fireplace and sit in a gondola and have a little dinner. It's really, really very special. And you can just see some of the rides and such here. So this year we're really excited because as we move into 2021, we're going to have our beautiful Ama Cristina on the Rhone River, and she'll be sailing from Lyon down to Arles, and it'll be during the Christmas season. Now, this isn't typically Christmas markets, but they will be celebrating the holidays, of course. It'll still be just as beautiful, and you get to see cities like Avion and go into Lyon. Can you imagine the culinary delights they're having? Uh, and then you, if you want to, you can even go and visit Spain. So Barcelona will be a little warmer, of course, but <laughs> it's uh, still really magical. And then New Year's, believe it or not, we actually sail right through Christmas and New Year. So you can celebrate the holidays, bring in the New Year with us, and sail on the road. 
So that's all our Christmas markets. We hope you'll come and join us for one of them. They really are a wonderful uh, opportunity to enjoy the holidays. Wow, that's just lovely, Sean. And although I've cruised with Amma Waterways a few times, I've never done the Christmas markets or the holiday cruise. And I can't think of a better way to do Christmas. <laughs> Let somebody else cook the turkey. <laughs> And we do make lots of turkey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I hope that that's given you some ideas for next year. And keep an eye on this. In the future, we will be having some special offers through Armour Waterways for the Christmas markets. And I want to thank Shauna for coming along and taking us on this magical journey. Thank you.